So this is my first meal of the day. I do intermittent fast and it's, to me, it's just a way of life. I'm not starving. The first two weeks I started intermittent fasting back in 2019, yes, I was definitely hungry, okay? I was like, wow, this is really weird. I don't know if I can do this, but I'm telling you now, it's just a way of life for me. So I don't even, doesn't phase me. I don't think about it. It's it's just a way of life. Just like keto for me is a way of life. It's it's not a diet. It's not. It's just the way I eat and it's my normal. So anyway, for my first meal, I made two eggs and I did use a half of serving of Kerrygold butter. So it was half of t half a tablespoon. It was seven grams, whatever that is. Um, it was seven grams. I weighed it out and then um, cracked the two eggs and I kind of swished the yolk around with a knife or you can use a fork or whatever and then I just flip flop them basically like fry them in the butter I guess and then I made two slices of pork roll I do like them a little burnt so that's why they are and then I just sprinkled my eggs with Himalayan salt love this stuff oh my gosh get rid of that white salt this is so good I use I even have What's the other one that I have? Oh, there's another one. I'll take a picture of it and insert it, um, which that one is really good as well. Um, you can even do everything but the bagel seasoning. You can do so many things. You can put some sriracha on here, hot sauce, whatever seasonings you like. Just switch it up. You don't have to keep it boring. You know, any any way of eating, don't, you know, don't keep it boring. Add the spices and the seasonings. I'm telling you, you'll thank me later. <laughs> All right, so I'm now going to try one of these legendary foods like Pop-Tarts. And ever since I started keto, I wanted to try their Pop-Tarts, but this flavor is a new one. And this is the Hot Fudge Sundae. I really want to try the strawberry and the brown sugar, but I was like, hmm, chocolatey goodness? Totally. So it's 15 grams of protein, 150 calories, and zero grams of sugar, and Four net carbs, which is awesome. So I'm going to try this on here so I can share my thoughts. I'm a little nervous because what if I don't like it? And these are not cheap. So they're not cheap to not like it type of thing. So let's just hope. Oh my God. Are these like child proof? Oh, oh. No, no. Oh my god. I don't want to crack the Pop Tart. Oh my god. Alright, I'm almost there, guys. Almost there. Jesus. I don't see like a little slit to where you're supposed to. If I would have known this, I would have opened it already. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not even like where the pop tart is. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> oh, I haven't even looked at it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <gasps> OMG. Oh my gosh, I'm like so excited. I follow them on Instagram and every time I'm like, oh, I need to try them, I need to try them. I really want to try them. But again, like they're really, in my opinion, they're pretty expensive, right? So let's give it a go. Not the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life, but not at all what I was expecting. Like, to be honest, they look a lot different in person than they do online and social media. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't know. I just, so that's what it like looks like. Let me focus. So it's really flat and it's actually like, it almost, it almost like, I almost don't even want to take another bite of this. I'm like highly disappointed, just highly disappointed. And I think it was a 10 pack for $25 on Amazon.
I might just stick with my built bars for the rest of my life. I don't know. I just like really wanted to try these because they're keto and because they have the 15 grams of protein. Oh my God. Is it like really bad? It's just really hard. Like definitely nowhere near a texture of the actual pop tart, which I didn't expect, but just so that way you guys understand. But I don't know. It almost like feels like it's like stale type of texture. All right. I don't really have anything else to say. I don't even know if I'm going to finish this. I'd rather just save my calories. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to finish it to finish it, but it is what it is. So I'll be back soon. Okay. <laughs> I had one more, one more or two more bites. One more bite, I think. Oh my God. So disappointing. Um, stick to Bilt Bars. Just saying. I know they're technically not keto, but that's what I'm going to stick with. And actually, perfect timing because it just dawned on me is that right now, if you use my link below, you get six free completely free just uncheck the shipping protection that's 89 cents and it's free ships for free and everything so if you want to use my link i'd really appreciate it i know there's other people with those links but i love bill bar and um oh my god oh i'm sorry just no there's so many better things out there and i understand that maybe if you're craving pop tarts or something like that that's not gonna do it <laughs> at all. I literally have it on the counter for my husband to take a bite out of it. So $25 wasted. Yay. Um, so today I really want to talk about motivation and how I stay motivated. And I have been keto for 10 months now and I have enjoyed every step of the way and loved every step of the way. And the way I stay motivated there's many things. There's many whys. You know, they say, find your why, find your why. I have a ton of whys, but sometimes your why isn't as strong. You know, sometimes it's just like, oh, well, that why isn't coming up for a while, so I can put it off because that was me for so long. Um, but what I really want to get across is your mindset. You have to change your mindset. My mindset, when I look at pictures of my old self, it's not even my body. It's when I look at that person, I am a completely different person. I don't think the way that that girl used to think. You know, I, I'm completely different. Yeah, I'm like to my core, I'm the same, but my mindset is completely different just on all on so many different levels and what back in 2019 when I really wanted you know really wanted to get serious about weight loss and losing the weight and just being a healthier person I said to myself okay I have all these traits at work you know anytime someone ever talks about me they always talk about my hard work ethic I'm passionate um, Oh my gosh, just all these different good qualities that I have at work. And I thought to myself, well, why don't I apply that to my personal life? Why don't I apply that to weight loss? You know, here I am, I would work open to close. I work 12 hours a day. I would come in early. I would stay later. You know, I would do anything that I had to do to make my personal goals, my, my, um, my counter goals, you know, my team goal. I would do everything in my power. I would have events. I created events. I would create events for my whole department. Uh, you know, my personal events. I created spa days for my own personal clients. Like I did all these things to to make me fe feel fulfilled because I loved my job, but also because I had goals to make. And my favorite thing is to sell cosmetics. It's what I love to do. It's just what I'm good at. And I put my heart and soul into it. I am just so passionate about it. And I thought, Natalie, why don't you use those traits that you have learned, you know, and grew into to weight loss? 
and that's what I did. I look at this as a numbers game. You know, every day I would check my numbers, you know, what's my goal, you know, and I knew all these numbers, I knew all these things, I'm, you know, not just memorized it, but I knew it. And that is how I just have this different mindset and I have this different motivation and this is why I'm not giving up because when I was at work, I didn't give up. You know, if I didn't make my goal that day, the next day I worked harder. You know, if I had to do this, I did this, I changed it up, I figured out what works, you know, I would throw things against the wall until it's stuck, trial and error. And that's what I'm doing with my weight loss and my life. And I am so thankful because I know that not a lot of people have the skill set, that skill set, and there's quality and there's traits, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So when I, you know, see people, you know, they're like, ugh. You know, everyone else seems to have perfect journeys. My, my journey isn't perfect, but however, you have to keep pushing. You have to keep fighting for yourself. You know, you have to realize what's so important. And, you know, people always, I, I watch a lot of videos, okay, so that's what I'm talking about. You know, there's some people in their videos that mention, you know, I'm just so tired of focusing on weight loss. No, that's the problem. You need to focus on it because the moment you don't focus on it is the moment you're like, whatever. You need to focus on it. Yeah, not obsessively or in an unhealthy way, but you need to make it a priority. You know, if it's important to you, just like my work, my work is so important to me. I made it a priority. Well, guess what? Now I am my priority. You know what I mean? So that's exactly what I did. I just literally just flipped the switch and use those exact things at work. You know, at work, I, I didn't, you know, just leave early. At work, I didn't show up late. You know, at work, I didn't say, oh, I just don't feel like it today. No. You know, so why would I do that to myself? Why would I sit and, like, not go work out? Why would I, you know, just make excuses? If I didn't make excuses to my boss, why would I make excuses to myself? You know, my boss said, hey, Natalie, you missed your goal, you know, by a hundred something dollars. I'd be like, oh man, like that's just one person I had to sell to. Boom, I'm on the phone calling people to sell, okay? And texting my clients, hey, you want to come in for a service, you know? So if I am a little off or on the goal that I wanted, I push harder. I figure out what didn't work. I figure out what I have to cut out. I figure out, okay, you know, am I eating too much? Let me start tracking more seriously again. Let me do this. Let me do that. And that's just, it's just motivation. It really, really is. It's just, you have to be passionate and motivated. And I'm a very self-motivated person. You know, that's definitely, you know, again, another quality that I would have at work. You know, I didn't need my boss to be pushing, pushing me. I push myself. I push, you know, my coworkers and my team. And again, another quality. I'm very self-motivated. So, oh, I don't know, put that in my weight loss. <laughs> and just, you have to find your why. You have to figure out why is it important for you to lose weight? You know, there's so many different whys. And it can be the smallest thing. It can be the biggest thing. But the most important thing is to just keep going. If you have a bad day, wake up the next morning. It's a brand new freaking day. And be thankful that you woke up for another day. You know, that's that's another thing. Every night before I go to sleep, I close my eyes. As, you know, as I, I stay up really late, but I still get the same amount of um, <laughs> hours of sleep. I just wake up later. But... You know, as I'm laying and I'm going to bed and I just close my eyes, I think about all the good things in my life and what I'm truly thankful for and what is just the good stuff. Think positive. And then after I do that, I think about my weight loss and I think about my journey and I think about how far I've come, how proud of I am of myself and that I'm doing it. You know, you have to think like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And think of that number. Think of the end all be all number, the biggest number ever. Think about the next two pounds, the next five pounds, the next 10 pounds. You know, think about the next half a pound, whatever it is, and, and think of that number. You have to visualize that number. Visualize yourself standing on the scale and seeing that number. And yes, the number is not everything. However, like myself, if you are, you know, very overweight, <laughs> The scale doesn't lie, okay? It's obviously not all muscle, it's obviously not all, all water weight, and it's obviously not all, oh, I might have to go to the bathroom, okay? So, 
just visualize yourself sitting on that scale and seeing that number. Literally, just close your eyes right now and see yourself in the morning getting up on that scale and you see that number. It literally just puts a smile on your face and go to bed like that. That's what I do every night. You need to inv you need to visualize it. You need to put it out there in the universe. I'm telling you, you have to put it out there. You need to say it out loud what you want to accomplish in life, no matter what it is. It's not just weight loss that you need these skills. It's everything in life. So that's what I do every night and every morning. Think, be thankful for waking up and be thankful you can start another day and fighting for yourself and loving yourself. You know, when I look at those old pictures and I say I don't recognize myself, it's not because I hated myself. The thing is, the reason why I got so big was because I liked myself. I really just didn't like, yeah, I had problems with certain things and I stress ate, but there was a lot of good things in my life and there still is a lot of good things in my life. and. A lot of it was I didn't see myself to be that big until now when I look back I'm like oh my gosh I had no idea that I looked that big I didn't some days yeah just like anybody at any size like, oh I feel big today you know what I mean but there was a lot of days where I felt I felt good you know like I felt cute you know especially when you get up and go to work every day with your hair done and your makeup done and you're just feeling good and you love your job and there's all these positive other things you know so that's why sometimes I don't like doing before and after pictures because it's like, oh, it's not that I hated myself, you know, it's the physical difference. Also the mindset and mind change difference. And you know, that's what I, I stress. It's that, it's that mindset shift. I think completely different about so many things with eating, with food. You know, I don't, I don't dream about food anymore, you know, the way I was. I don't, um, you know, I'm dreaming about keto food, I guess you want to say, but not like dreaming about it in an unhealthy sense. You know, like I'll wake up in the morning like, oh, what do I want to eat? And I get excited about what I'm going to eat. And that's the other thing. You got to be excited about what you're going to be eating. You, you can't wake up and be like, I don't want to eat that. Put it in your dang head. I can't wait to eat those eggs. I can't wait to eat some salad, I eat vegetables, whatever, if you eat fruit, whatever your diet is, you need to be excited about it. You need to track. You need to track what you're eating, okay? This morning, I literally got up, I scanned everything in where I was going to eat everything for my dinner. Everything is in, so I know if I can fit more if, or if I can't fit more. And I kind of slacked off with tracking. I mean, in my head, I, I know what things are, I know what the measurements are and all that, but I'm so close to a huge milestone and it's like, okay, let's reinforce again. And I think that's a healthy thing to do because just to make sure, and I'm on track with everything, you know, um, to make sure I'm counting my calories right because for the rest of my life, I don't want to have to track it, you know, in my phone, but Sometimes you just have to go back to the basics and to just double check along your journey as you are getting better. And it's just a good feeling to be like, wow, I still weigh my stuff and I'm really good at eyeballing things and not going over. And it, it's just a good feeling when you're, you're growing through your journey. And sometimes these qualities that I talk about, like that I had these qualities when, you know, at work and now I switched it for weight loss. A lot of these qualities, you will learn along the way of your journey if you don't have them. So the more you're on your journey, the better and stronger you are going to get and the stronger mindset is going to get. My motto is I eat to lose weight. I exercise for my mental health. If I don't work out that day, my mind starts to wander. I'm not kidding you. It starts to think of things. It starts to think of regrets. And it's not about weight loss. It's just normal life stuff you know, and my mind starts to wander. So I work out for my mental health. That's why during the day, and I work out the same day, like I am on a routine. You have to get a routine. You have to make it a habit. It's just like with anything in life, okay? Would you show up to work late every single day? Would you call your boss and tell your boss, ugh, I just don't feel like it? No, you wouldn't. So think of yourself as your boss. Are you gonna tell you, I don't feel like it, I'm not coming to work? No, you're not. So you have to you have to make it a commitment.